Aaron, uh, just what do you think of the way the offense responded tonight after what happened yesterday with a little bit of a lackluster performance? Yeah, it was really good. Um, you know, for, for us to get out, <clears throat> a couple solo home runs to, to get us going um, and, and give us a lead there uh, by Joey and Judgy, but then then to add on. And that's, that's you know, that's what we need to do when we have those opportunities. Obviously, a huge swing by, by Gardy, but some good at-bats to get us in that position. Uh, Gio, I thought, had some really good at-bats tonight. Up and down the order, guys having good at-bats and, and making contributions. Uh, you know, Corey giving us a really strong six innings. And, um, you know, we haven't had a lot of those games where, you know, <clears throat> scored a couple and then pulled away like that. It was it was really just really good to see a, a, a complete effort. How badly did you need a, a game like that to take some of the pressure off some of those arms in the bullpen? Yeah, it definitely helps. You know, uh, you know, Clue setting this set setting us up to to be in good shape there, going six strong. But you know, Kinger with a really efficient two innings. You know, able to get Lucas in there, and, and he was real efficient. So, yeah, that's big. I mean, that's, you know, that's what we've had a hard time doing really throughout this year is kind of having those reset games. So uh, just really good to see them play, you know, on both sides of the ball and, and, and obviously the pitching um, really strong tonight. With, with Kluber, longest outing since coming off of the IL, what allowed him to be so effective? I thought stuff was really good, um, and the command's getting better. You know, I, I still think there's, I think there's another level for him to go to, um, but you know he commanded the ball better. I think he only had one walk in that six innings. Um, you know, hit the batter on the 0-2 pitch, uh, but was a better, more efficient strike thrower tonight. And I thought the stuff probably ticked up. It looked like stuff was moving all over the place, uh, which which is what he's known for, right? That the movement quality of his pitches. I felt like he had that going tonight, and hopefully this is another step in his his progression to getting all the way back. Talking to Joey Gallo on the field, he talked about some slight mechanical things, but also mentioned confidence playing a role in his recent power surge. Just what have you seen as the difference for Gallo over the last week? Yeah, I mean getting. You know, this game's so much about, you know, you know, being on time. But when you get your pitch or you get a mistake pitch or a pitch you're hunting, you know, you you, you got to take advantage of them. The, the pitchers are too good. Uh, they can exploit you too much. So when you do get an opportunity, you got to stick it. And, and that's what he's been doing here of lately. Um, you know, getting on a high pitch. And I thought the first one was a great job of keeping that. That ball's easy to kind of keep spinning out of and hitting hard foul. But he stayed tight through it and, and was able to keep it fair. And um, just some, some more good at-bats from him tonight. Ken Davidoff, you have the next question. Aaron, do you see a similar ramp up with Corey that you did at the start of the season where you know, it took him a few starts to, to get going? Yeah, I, I was thinking about that a little bit. Maybe. Um, you know, I, I feel like he's been a little bit different. I feel like in these starts, it's it's kind of searching for that really good command, you know, especially of his cutter and his 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 two seamer. Um, so it's a little bit different, but but maybe some similarities to just getting in that mound feel. And you know, he's a rhythm feel kind of guy, and uh, so maybe there is something to him just getting more comfortable the more he gets out there on the mound and builds outings. And hopefully, this is another big step for him. And on another matter, I don't know if you saw Todd Zeal, you know, now a broadcaster for the Mets Network. Uh, he put together a package today uh, detailing his allegations of, of the whistling from last Saturday night against Taiwan Walker, saying uh, short whistle meant fastball, long whistle meant changeup. Didn't know if you were aware of that. I wanted to respond in any fashion. I, I was not. Um, it's, it's, it's much ado about nothing. There's nothing going on. Um, I'm certain of that. Uh, so, uh, I, I don't know what to say other than when I see Todd, I'll I'll tell him so. And I, I think the people in the know know nothing was going on. Thank you. Yeah. Dan Martin, go ahead. Aaron, just checking on uh, LeMayhew. Uh, pulling him, was that just a uh, score? I didn't hear that. Say it again. LeMayhew? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just score, and you know, again, he's a little, he's just a little banged up, and 
you know, so picking a spot where they want to get him out of there. You know, we haven't had a lot of those opportunities where we've grown a big lead, so I uh, did it with him today. And uh, on top of what it does for your pitching a night like this, is, just, is it just good for your spirit to, to kind of not be down to the wire for three hours, to, you know? Four hours. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, kind of waiting on every pitch. I think it was good for the spirit, yeah. <laughs> well said. Christy Ackert, please unmute. <laughs> Aaron, Gallo looks more comfortable, but it also kind of coincides when you moved him down in the lineup a little bit. Do you think that contributed to it at all? I don't know. I, I mean, I think he's he's a such a dynamic player that, you know, uh, eventually he was going to come around, you know, wherever. It, there may have been a temporary, you know, little pressure taken off, but, you know, I mean, I really only hit him, what, second for that kind of probably five or six game stretch before I kind of moved him back in that five, six hole tonight. He was in the five hole. Um, so, you know, maybe there is something to it. Um, but I also feel like he was going to get there anyway.